What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and hopefully make some level of progress. I'm trying really, really hard. I just got turned around. That was my bad. I looked at a thing that was on the side of my monitor and it caused me to be like, oh, what's that thing? I turned my character in game to look in the direction that my face was looking. I don't know why my arm did that. It just did. I didn't ask it. I, was, I wasn't like, why are you doing this thing? Because if my arm answered back, I think I might have ghostesses in my house. But, you know... Welcome on back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, in the previous episode, we've been trying to farm out some stuff. I need to go back out to the jungle and drop some apiaries out there. Ooh, look at you guys producing all those plorts. Maybe I'll get a few more apiaries in hand before I try this. I think I've got three or four crafted right now. And I wanted to get up to the full six. I also need to go back to the drill zone and harvest all of those because I haven't harvested my drills in forever. They're just sitting out there drilling away, producing nothing. Luckily enough, though, the developer was super kind and decided not to punish us for that. So that's good. Here, you guys have whatever's left in my inventory. I don't care. You guys also eat whatever is in my inventory. I, once again, have a profound lack of caring. An absurdly large amount of me not giving a shit right now. There we go. Perfect. You guys have that. We got 12 more of these in here. Hopefully, we'll be able to get our hands on some of these shenanigans. Aw, oh, thank you for that. You're going to explode all over my face right now. Just a lady trying to do her job, and you're going to explode all over my face. All right, that's cool. I'll remember that, slime. I'll remember that when it comes down to feeding time, because that's exactly the sort of horrible, petty human being that I am. I promise you, I pray, slime. I pray. Taunt me on this. Taunt me on this and watch what happened, G. Watch what happened. Uh, let's go out to the... Let's go to... God, what's going on right now? Let's just go to the jungle zone before I talk myself into an idiotic corner again. It happens so frequently. It happens so ridiculously frequently. And you just adapt to it. That's the funny part. Is the longer you do YouTube, the faster you are just like adapting the things that you say. Just doing your commentary as normal. You're like, ah, yeah, I said a dumb thing, but let's move forward. Let's move forward. It's not as bad as it sounds. You also learn to kind of make B sounds and P sounds, like M sounds. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's not as bad as it sounds. You do like a little mmm before you do it. And that makes the plosive not be so gnarly. The pa 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 plosive. I gotta go harvest some drills now before this gets too far out of hand. Run straight past the super angry slumaze. None of that for you right now. None of that for you right now. I think that I would like to, oh yeah, look at you guys over here just doing your gerb. Just doing your gerbs. Still no diamonds though. Still no diamonds. All the indigonium that I could ever want, but still no diamonds. There we go. So that one's up and out of the way. We got trills like everywhere over here. Okay. More indigonium. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Perfecto. Uh, I think I've got two more drills left to go. Haven't gotten ridiculously lucky with the diamonds so far. I would ditch all of that primordial oil right this second for just some diamonds. Just the diamonds. All of the diamonds that I can carry. I think there's a blue chest in here somewhere. Like up in that center pedestal or something like that. I don't know. I was going to go through with a notebook and write them all down. But I found that that really sort of broke up my ability to do commentary properly. I was like stopping like every two seconds and being like, alright, let me scribble this down real fast. Alright, just doing a notary's job here. Alright, sounds good. Stamp it. Yes, we've got to make it government official. If it's not government official, it's not real. There we go. Thank you, United States government, for approving of my plans. Huh. I wonder if you do get different things based on where you... Oh yeah, we got a blue chest over here. Is that a blue chest? Yeah, a crystal cluster. I brings all the... Oh, look at that. There's an Oka Oka farm up there. Who knew? I had no idea. That was one of those things that I had no idea about. Apparently, there's an Oka Oka farm up there. Man, the things we learn when we play video games over and over and over again ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. I like how ad, we just added an extra D to it and then just made it like a arithmetic thing for us. Ad nauseum. With the addition of nauseum, a.k.a. Those are actually, if you're nauseous, that's, I always thought that you could make, like, gummies. And the gummies would make it so that if you're nauseous, like, motion sickness pills, you call them nauseum. You call them ad nauseum or something like that. You're like, feeling bad? Ad nauseum. 
And it's just like, it's nauseam. It makes you feel better. You take it. I had to do that for a while because I got Meniere's disease. And so, like, every now and again, mostly after I have a cold or something like that, basically Meniere's disease, my family has a crooked ear canal. Every doctor I've ever been to has looked inside my ear and been like, oh, that's weird. Which is not really a super, it's not a real flattering thing for a doctor to say. One time I had a doctor say, oh, that's gross when they looked at something. And I was like, you're a doctor. You do this all day, every day. And the first thing that you say when you see somebody with a medical malady is, oh, that's gross. You must not have been doing this for very long. But no, they're a career doctor. They've been doing this for a really long time. So that leads me to two conclusions. Either this doctor's bedside manner is just absolutely abysmal. Or B, this doctor really has not seen the gnarly shit. Like, she's not been out there, you know what I mean? She hasn't been out there in the psalm of injuries. She's been, like, chilling in the back, like, hanging out in the, the bright and wonderful foothills. You know how every adventure starts in, like, the foothills or, like, in the forest? That's where she's been as far as medical stuff goes. Either that or my injury actually was really that gnarly. But I didn't feel like it was, because, like, it wasn't actually that bad. It was, like, an internal thing that I was just like, oh, I feel this way, and my doctor says I have this thing. And she was like, oh, that's gross. And I was like, man, brutal with the burn. Thanks for making me feel self-conscious about it. Go home and shoot myself while jumping off of a cliff. Because you've made me feel bad about myself, and that's my rational reaction to not feeling good about myself. So there, it's all your fault. I'm going to write it on my tombstone. It's all Dr. Hart's fault. <laughs> it's just what it says. Splattercat, 1987-2016. Almost 2017. I've almost made it. This is all Dr. Hart's fault. Mm, yeah, sure, I'll take the tabby slimes, even though I haven't been feeding my... I haven't been doing a real fantastical job at feeding my... Feeding my kitties lately, because I don't care about them as of right now. They have offended me in many and numerous fundamental ways. There we go. Probably a little bit redundant with the way that I said that, but eh, I don't care. I don't care. You can't change me. I am what I am. I is what I is. And then before nightfall, I'll probably run a whole bunch of these apiaries out to, like, other areas to see if we can maybe get, like, the royal jellies or whatever. I assume that's where it drops from. You just got to get, like, the right spawn point or something. And I'll check it before we go out, too, one more time just to make sure. But I already looked at the wiki, and so... I don't know. I'll give it another look, and then when we come back, I'll be out in the slime area. I'm sorry, not the slime area. I'll be out... Out in the jungle! Yep, into the moss blanket we go. It says the diamonds and the lava and everything else can drop, like, anywhere, no matter where you put the drills. So it's not really a big deal. It just comes down to the fact that RNG Jesus is not favoring us right now. And so we've kind of just hit, like, a stop block with our ability to produce stuff. Little bit of a bummer. Little bit of a bummer. It's all good, though. Eventually we'll pick up something useful. I'm probably going to collect all my new apiaries in this zone over here, just because it's a little bit larger. It's a little bit more open, and I feel a little bit more solid about using it. I'll probably put in a couple up here. There we go. Apiaries deployed. So that's four apiaries, and I need a couple more. Oh, there's another one over here. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Apiary done. Taken care of. Everything deployed. I don't see any extra... Eh, there's one right here, although I'm liable to forget about it since it's behind a tree and out of line of sight. Might be a little bit weird to have it over there, but we're redeployed. We're redeployed and we're ready to go. So, that leaves us with a couple little projects, mostly the same things we've been doing anyways. Just running around picking up pink slimes and doing our dance, clocking our game and all that kind of stuff. I don't really know. I I'm, at a, I'm at a loss for what I should be doing with this series right now. It's a little bit tougher to figure out how I want to be attacking this one. Because we've got a significant... I mean, there's no telling when the diamond will drop. So it could drop at any point. My inclination is just to keep drilling and doing, like, basic maintenance stuff while watching Netflix for a while until I have the thing that we need in order to continue our crafting. Aside from that, we could potentially decorate a little bit and just, like, fiddle around with the stuff that we have on hand. Try to make things a little bit more uh, beautified. How many? So we got two spots back up in here. I'll probably put in some minty grass over here to remind me that I'm supposed to be putting mint trees over on this side. If there's a spot for minty grass over here too, I'd take that. Whereas over here I'd put in like the, if there's a spot for it anyways. There is not. There is not. There's got to be science spots up top right there. I'll probably put in some grass and some other little things too. So let's beautify today. While we wait for things to happen, let's let's make things more beautiful. 
Let's make our place gorgeous and see maybe if we can attract potential other slime ranchers to come hang out with us and be like, hey, you cultivate a beautiful farm. How'd you like to have my babies? And I'd be like, um, sure, why not? I'm open to new experiences. Let's not shut any doors before, let's not shut any doors before we know the potential outcomes here. Why not? Let's jump straight in on it. I'll throw those in there. Cool. Keep them stocked up for a bit. I will probably have to harvest some Oka Oka back on this side. Yeah, I figured Oka Oka was probably about ready to go. I missed one. I know, it flew off camera, I saw it. I'm aware, and I'm choosing not to act on it because I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel, it's what I do. This is part of my operation, and then I go back and I get it after I say I wasn't going to because what kind of rebel am I? I don't know. A rebel for conformity? Who knows? He's crazy. He's out here doing stuff that nobody can telegraph. Like what? what? Let's focus on building some stuff for the next couple episodes, I guess. If we can do decorations or anything like that, I think that'd be a lot of fun, too. What kind of decorations do we have available? We have sponge shrubs. Where's my minty green grass? That's the one that I want. Let's do some minty green grass. So we've got that. I would say we should also do some crystal clusters because why not? No, I'm out of pink plorts. The sheer volume of pink plorts I need in this game to accomplish things makes me sad. I'll probably put it over here. Decorations, crystal cluster. Oh, cool. That's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. That would be the moment where a lesser man would insert a that's what she said joke into his LP. But not me, Nerd Castle. Not me. Not me. The higher standard. The higher call. The higher goal. Stick with me. Together we can make this happen. We can make this happen. I promise. This I promise you. There we go. They are not eating their minty mangoes. It's dispensing too rapidly. The dispensership is too strong. Got some stuff over here. They'll keep feeding them and doing their thing. These guys probably need food on this side too. Although I bet my rad slimes are hungrier than hell right now. Why does hell have such a great hunger? I don't know. Hell hath no hunger like the hunger hell hath. That's how the saying goes and it's not super descriptive. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help you figure out exactly what it is that hell wants at any given moment. I would assume just to mess with Doom Guy's life is like one of the major things they got written up on the whiteboard. Listen, how can we ruin Doom Guy's life today? Not tomorrow, not next week, today. What are some real tangible solutions for ruining Doom Guy's shit? Just really getting up inside his operation, just being like, squish, done. Man, I can't wait for the next Doom game to come out. They did exactly what I said Bethesda should have done. Like, I was like, Bethesda's Doom remake will be amazing just as long as they take everything they did in Wolfenstein and convert it into Doom. And they did. And I was like, oh my god, I love it when a developer does the logical thing. Does the thing that makes sense. The thing that has been working. Don't mess with the theorem. Don't mess with the way that everything functions. Just, just do what you do. Just do what you do. Here, have some onions to make you feel happier. Getting a little bit tired of the attitude that's up inside of here. My slimes have been very... Oh, shit. I might have needed those in order to replant. But I've got Oka... No, I don't, actually. Shit on me. Did you guys eat it already? Give me those. Give me those right now. And you go back inside of there. Now is not the time for your incarceration to end. Now is not the season of your freedom. Nor the seasoning of your freedom. Which, most people don't know this, but the seasoning of freedom is actually cumin. The answer is cumin. Cumin. Just in case you were looking for something that... Really bring your freedom game up to the next level. Cubaries. There we go. These need replanting. Cubaries. Yes, please. Perfecto. Cuberry launch. Engaged! Oh, these need to be replanted too. Well, damn. They're hitting me with all kinds of tasks right now. And over here, we're going to put in some minty grass just to make this look a little nicer. There we go. That doesn't actually show up as much as I thought it would, but sure. It's definitely grass. It is absolutely, unequivocally grass. This one doesn't seem to be as impeded as the other tree. And why is that, he asked. Why is that? Because this needs to be replanted, I bet. Let's replant it. 
everything else is needed to be replanted so far, so why wouldn't that need to be replanted? It's gotta be there's gotta be a solution there somewhere. But the minty mangoes. Probably just drop these right here so I can worry about them later. Pink plorts too. There we go. And then it's back to the stone zone. And inside the stone zone, we will hope. Yeah, I think it's been long enough. I mean, it's not a long walk, so we'll just have to go look and see. But I think inside of the stone zone, we should be good to unload those drills a couple more times. And if not, we've got to be close. Like, if we're not directly on top of it, we've got to be at least somewhat parallel. But not perpendicular. We don't play around with those shenanigans. We'll play around with those shenanigans. That's the devil's work right there. Are you ready to go? All right, cool. Do your thing. Procure for me. I still got a rare resource sitting right there too. Mm, no great and mighty diamonds that I can see. No great and mighty diamonds because they've got a little aura around them. That's how you know you got them to drop is because they got the little aura. Right, that's fine. We still got one left to take a look at. My luck is just bad. I think after this episode, I'm going to take a break and I'm just going to farm it out in my own time. When I get it is when I get I bet you I get like five of them too. That's what always happens. Luck is always streaky like that. You either got like nonstop bad luck or you got nonstop good luck. It's very rare that it's like anywhere in between. All you can do... Is try to weight the deck in your favor. You know, I was thinking about it. Is there anybody in the world named Levi Tate? There's gotta be, right? There's gotta be at least one guy named Levi Tate. If there's not, I'd be tremendously disappointed with the way the world functions. If, if my last name was Tate, I would definitely name my first son Levi. In a heartbeat. In a moment's notice, because there's always that chance. You don't know how the magic of the universe works. Maybe he's born with the gift of flight and surpasses his father. Lives his father's dream of flight. Oh. Ooh. Living that R. Kelly dream. I believe I can fly. Every time. It looks like I've got some normal drills, so I guess I'll just throw those in real fast. It'll only last for the one cycle, but good enough. It'll work for right now. I think we will head back to Basay. And once there, we'll deposit that which we have. I will shoot that rock slime at the ceiling because it's the only way I know to hurt him. To really fundamentally damage him. To make him just feel bad. Why are there honey plorts in here? That's strange. Why would there be honey plorts in there? Oh, that's a brain teaser. There's no honey plorts around anywhere. How would that get in there? Did I shoot honey plorts in there? I don't remember plorting. Normally when I plort, I remember it. It's such an enjoyable experience. It's like one of those finer things about being a biological organism. Every now and again, you're just gonna blap. And nobody questions it, because they all do it too. They can't. They can't question the places and the things that you do with your plorts because they do the same thing. They do the same damn thing. Well, seeing as we don't really have a direction to go in right now until we get diamonds, I think what I'll probably do... We need diamonds and we need royal jelly, and until we get both of those, we're kind of stuck in a rift right now. So until I sort that out, I probably won't do the next episode. Okay, so if there's a couple days, don't panic. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just trying to get us to the point where we can actually make some progress and make some teleporters and shit so that we can have a good time. That Oka Oka got launched. That thing had a time. Ah, well. I'll see y'all next time. This is Slime Rancher. Um... If you enjoy what I do here on the channel, please feel free to check out the Patreon. There's all kinds of, like, goals and things you can earn for supporting the channel there. Patreon.com slash Splattercat. I will see you the next time that we meet. It was a pleasant experience, and I look forward to seeing you next time, all right? Thank you for stopping on in. Bye.